Hello submarine friends. Today I'm starting on another project we've been working on. I'm testing this submarine port. It's actually made from epoxy casting resin. It's not your typical acrylic that you would normally use. We are going to try something new. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this, but we'd like to make a dome out of this material, but it's expensive to make the dome. So what we're doing is we're going to test this port, which will give us the same characteristics in terms of testing. So right now it's 1.1 inches thick, which is a little bit too thick. So I'm going to reduce it to about three quarters of an inch because I want to make, I want to see if I can destroy it in the pressure chamber. I doubt I can, but at 1.1 inches, I'll never be able to break it. I want to know where the breaking point is. So I'm going to start by reducing it to three quarters of an inch. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start machining it now. It's going to be very, very messy. That's the downside to um, machining this stuff. It machines really nice. There's no problem machining this stuff compared to acrylic, that's for sure. I'm taking off the heavier pads here. I'm still being careful not to raise the temperature of the material because heat is your enemy when you're machining a submarine port. So I've got 30 thou to go here. So that's the maximum I want to take off in one pass. So I've already set it to take the last pass. So here we go. After this, I'll just give it a quick little uh, sand with 1500 grit paper and maybe a little polish and then it'll be ready to go in the chamber. So you can see that it's uh, just been sanded with 1500 grit. It would be nice if I had 2000 grit, but I don't have any. So now I'm just gonna give it a quick little polish. Um, actually, the scratches you can see are on the inside of the window because it's, it's never been really nicely finished due to the lack of sandpaper. Okay, so this is after a uh, quick little polish and I'm talking, you know, 20 seconds with it spinning in the lathe. So I just use uh, this stuff right here. Ooh, there we go. So that's all I use, nothing spectacular. So the scratches you see are actually on the inside of the window. So this right here is the pressure chamber. The uh, window goes inside here and there's a seal or a gasket here. And then there's an O-ring seal between this piece and this piece. I made this chamber, I don't know how many years ago. It could be 10 years ago for all I know. Anyways, it worked really well, but I lost the piece that bolts to the bottom of this to seal the water in. So this is a one inch disc that I have from another project. I think it's actually off the pressure chamber for testing the dome. Anyways, I have to drill this out now and possibly machine this face so that it seals to the o-ring under here. So that's the next step. Pity I lost the other half of this, but not a big deal. Here is the very first pressure test. We're sitting at over 1,000 feet of depth. So we'll just zoom in on the gauge here, 450 PSI. So we're talking fresh water here, of course. You can see that the rubber gasket is extruding out of the pressure chamber. So I'm going to have to stop here and uh, regroup on that. Maybe I'll have to machine an O-ring into there. Never had this problem before. But anyway, so far, we're uh, well beyond the rating for the window. So, so far, so good. Okay, submarine friends, I've got the chamber with the window outside the shop and I'm pumping it up inside the shop. And we wanna to go to failure depth as if it was an acrylic window, which is just under 1000 PSI. So what are we at now? 600, 700. I should probably go a little slower because the submarine would never dive this fast. I should mention that I welded this chamber together out of scrap steel in my yard with a short arc MIG coming up on a thousand PSI. Wow. That's 50,000 pounds, by the way, on the chamber. Look at that, 1,000 PSI. Well, submarine friends, you just saw it. I put this outside where it was safe and I stayed inside to pump up the hydraulic pressure. So this cavity inside the pressure chamber is filled with motor oil and again it's an epoxy window in there. I decided to go with one inch at the end and it just went beyond where acrylic would fail. So acrylic will fail at 2100 feet supposedly 
and this just went beyond 2100 feet. So I think it's uh, a promising material to look at for making submarine domes. Of course there's a lot more experimentation needed, so it'll take us quite a while to establish if it's safe or not. Ciao for now.